the first look that I want to show you guys is a pull-up braid. That's what I like to call it. It's very, very easy, simple, and again, it's very salon friendly. So I'm going to have my model here turn around. Now, my aesthetic is very airy, but I also like to make things uncomplicated. I feel like sometimes as hairdressers, we complicate a lot of different um, styles or uh, techniques. So with this, we're gonna go ahead and do this style with just a couple different sectioning. So the first section that I'm gonna go ahead and do is below crown to the top of the ear on both sides. So we're gonna work with the back first, and then we're gonna incorporate the front later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and section it out. And like haircutting, you wanna make sure that you set yourself up for success and you always have nice, clean sections. That's really important. So you can see we have our sections here. Two, I wanna go ahead and mention, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do a braid, but with that, you wanna make sure that you have a nice, like, tangle-free palette. So we're just gonna go through and comb it really nicely to make sure we're, it's tangle-free. All right, and she has absolutely no layers to her hair. But this will definitely work with someone that has layers as well. Okay, so first off, we're gonna just go ahead and do a simple fishtail braid, right? Two sections. You wanna make sure the density of the hair is the same on both sides. So first of all, I kind of feel it, make sure the density is the same, a little more to our left here. So we're gonna take a little piece of hair from our right, cross it over to our left, a little piece of hair from the left, cross it over to the right. Continuing this, I'm taking quite large sections um, for this fishtail braid. If you want a little bit more definition, you could definitely take smaller sections, but with what I'm gonna do next, I wanna take larger sections because we're gonna finish it off by pulling the braid up to make it look not really like a braid at all. It's gonna look kind of like a bohemian style. So this is a time saver, you guys. So right to left, left to right. I'm gonna move rather quickly here. You guys can see. I wanna point out too, it's super important that you have a nice silky texture when braiding. You don't want it to be super tangly. We added some thermal spray by Redken in there just to kind of give it a little bit of a glossy kind of texture. So when I'm gonna pull it up, it allows me to do so. So just a couple more passes here. You can see how gorgeous that's looking with um, the hair color. So right to left, left to right. You can certainly do this technique with a three strand braid as well. So this is my favorite part. So we're getting to the ends here. So you wanna leave a few inches out. So I'm gonna kind of fan out the ends a little bit. I'm gonna take my fingers, just four fingers, holding on to the hair with my left hand. I'm right-handed, you can certainly do the opposite. I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingers through it. I'm gonna go ahead and push it up. So that's why I call it the push-up braid. So just putting my fingers through here and aggressively pushing it up. So now you can see it doesn't look like a braid at all, right? It kind of looks kind of like a bohemian style and it really made that fishtail nice and big. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of pull at it a little bit more. Then I'm gonna secure the ends with a hair elastic. Just using a clear hair elastic here. And that is that. Spread out the hair. You can certainly maybe curl this if you'd like. So now we're gonna incorporate the sides. So this is one of my favorite techniques. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just twist the hair back and then incorporate it into our fishtail braid. So we're gonna work with our right section first and gonna make sure we have a nice clean section here. Anytime I'm doing any type of bridal up styles or braids, I always take our, my part at an angle. You don't wanna go straight back with it because the density of the hair isn't gonna be even, right? So if you go at a slight angle, that's gonna help achieve um, the same amount of density on each side. So we're gonna angle that out here. Perfect. Section our left side out for later. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some horizontal sections. So we have this section here. I'm gonna go ahead and twist it away from the face. 
Now, her hair has a little bit of a slippery texture to it from the thermal spray, so I need to grunge it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use Windblown by Redken, which is gonna add a lot of texture and grit to the hair. Aggressively spray it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and what I call surface pinch and pull it. So I'm holding on with light tension on my left side. With my right hand, I'm taking about quarter inch sections, and I'm gonna go ahead and push it forward. So it's gonna move everything forward and it's gonna make this twist look really full. You can tell that she doesn't have much curl to her hair, so this is perfect for those clients that their hair just will not hold a curl. So we're gonna go ahead and surface pinch and pull it, surface pinch and pull it, and continue until we get to the ends. And what that uh, wind blown does is it just adds that bulk and texture to it, allowing that twist to have some substance. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and bobby pin that in right above our fishtail here. So we're gonna go about midway through. She has long hair here. We're just gonna do the same thing with the ends left here. Just keep on twisting it. And I'm just gonna actually pin it right into our fishtail braid. We're gonna do the same thing with the section on top. So I always like to mention that you wanna twist away from the face. So we have our twist, twist away from the face, that uplifts the face. You don't want it to look drooped down, right? So twist away, use some of your windblown. You need to have that texture in there, it's really important. And then surface, pinch and pull. See how much fuller that got? And it has substance from that product in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and layer that on top. Again, taking our bobby pin, pinning it into place. Since she has these little ends, we're just gonna go ahead and tuck those, twisting it and pinch and pulling it, and then bobby pinning it into place. At this point, it's definitely more visual. You can certainly add some little, or keep the pieces down and maybe add some curl to it too. That would look quite nice. We're just gonna go ahead and pin it. I'm gonna actually just pin it from underneath here. So we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, just taking horizontal sections. On this side, we're actually gonna take three sections. And you wanna be kind of organic about it. You don't need to take super clean sections for that because you don't wanna see those lines in there, right? So I usually just part it with my finger. So again, twist away from the face. It's very important that your body position is on point. So you don't wanna be holding the hair all the way out here. You don't wanna over direct it anywhere but to the direction that you're gonna pin it. So we're twisting it away from the face, moving left to right surface pinch and pull it after we use our uh, wind blown by Redken. Spray it aggressively here, and then surface pinch and pull. Now, if there's any, is there a perfectionist in here? Yeah, you guys are the ones that have the hard time with this technique because it's not perfect, because it's more of that disheveled. So what I suggest you do is just get in there. I mean, it's okay if a piece or two kind of fall out. It's okay if you just have to redo it too. You know, but I want you guys to practice really being aggressive with pulling it out. That's gonna be um, really key to this style. So again, twist it, pinch and pull, and then we're just gonna bobby pin that into place, and we're just building it. What's great about this is that I know I'm explaining while I'm doing this, but if I were to do this inside the salon, this would probably take me 10 to 15 minutes. And this is an updo. I would charge an updo price for this. So twisting away from the face, using my wind blown, and then surface pinch and pulling it. So when you guys are practicing this inside the salon, don't be afraid to really pull at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bobby pin it. Do you guys like this technique though? Easy, right? So a couple more. And how good does it look with the color, right? Looks so good. All right, so one more section here. You could certainly maybe add like a braid at this point too, like a three strand braid, pancake it, that would look nice. 
We're gonna keep on twisting it, twisting away from the face, over directing it, using some of the wind bl blown. Really important to have that right kind of texture in there. And then surface, pinch and pull. Bobby pinning it into place. You can certainly do this technique in a variety of different ways. Imagine if you didn't have the fishtail braid down there. That would be a gorgeous half up, half down bridal look or bridesmaids look. So just want to go ahead and mention that. Pinch and pull. All right. And then pinning that in there. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more texture here. So I like how this kind of looks kind of soft and airy, but this is a little bit too flat to my liking. So I'm going to use some hairspray at this point. Spray a little bit at the roots, then holding on to the hair firmly, I'm going to pinch and pull the hair up to create an erratic texture. So this makes it look a little undone, but it still has that structure to it. So that definitely um, took it up a notch. Gonna look at her, just take my palms, maybe pull some pieces out, kind of rub my hands through there, palms, just to create that kind of boho airy feel to it. Take a look from it, but you could certainly curl it. You could do all sorts of things to it. And that is about it. Do you mind having uh, or standing up, my dear? Do you guys like it? Cool. Do you want to have a go for a walk here? Cool. So again, you know, 10, 15 minutes inside the salon, you can utilize those techniques in a variety of different ways. So um, it's easy. Yay. Thank you so much, Katie.